This is the Multiforce. This is a patented door system. My Multiforce door has been out there since 2007. This door is going to teach you how to go through. You're going to run through every technique of forcible entry you can do on this door. You can force up, I'm going out inward opening, point. outward opening, crush it. Metal jam, hit, wooden jam, left swing, right Gaps swing, down, which is very important. Up. Gapping is different on a left and right hand swing door, and spiking is definitely different. Some apartment doors I've forced in, in the past have had angle iron on it. You can hit. simulate that on this door. Hit. Use a rabbit tool. You can use a bunny tool or a rabbit tool on this door. You can use it over and over and over again. All you're doing is breaking wood. This patented door system, fully assembled like it is, weighs over 770 pounds, all told. It's a rock, it's solid. You can force all day long with these doors. This door could be disassembled, it breaks down into six parts. We could break it down in less than five minutes and bring it to any uh, firehouse in your fire department. Talk is cheap. Let's put it through its paces and you'll see what I mean. You got a door, metal jam, door swings to the left. I'm gonna gap it. Points up, I'm going opposite the point. And if I can, I'll try and clear it so I don't involve a second firefighter. You get it to there. Pop it. Okay. I got a right hand swinging door, metal jam. I'm gonna use that door stop. Point is down, I'm going opposite the point. Okay, it's look to see what's holding me in the real world. Turn it, this is a good second move. I call it a clearing move. Get your shoulder right under here. Gives you a lot of power. Now you're in behind the jam and you get the door. Points up, going down. Okay. Try and clear it. I'm not getting it. Back and hold. Grab with a chalk. Sometimes you can't grab with the front, you grab with the back. Second chalk is a spacer. Oh yeah. I grabbed the chalk that fell. Hold that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good to go? Yep. Points down, going up. Okay. <laughs> Grab with a chuck. Door that swings to the right, metal jam again. Point is down, going opposite, going up. Okay, trying to go to the second move to clear it out. Can't get it, I'll go back if I'm by myself. If I'm with somebody else, come on bro, we're gonna hit. But I'm by myself, okay, I gap it again. I pull my chalk out and I hold my position. In the real world, beat that chalk into the door in the real world, okay? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna spear this. I get a little bit, okay. To get the forks in a little bit, even a little bit to hold, get more purchase. Now I'm gonna put the bevel to door now. Go, go to the bevel the door. Most of the time in the real world, that door goes. At this point though, if I'm by myself, I could drop this behind as another technique and get more leverage. Now the door's pretty much the door in the real world is open. We'll get it this way anyway. Pop it. Now we're going to force the door with two men. We got our gap already. We're going to go bevel to door. Right there. Hit. 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 Drive it. Stop. Good. Okay. OK. 
Okay, we're gonna do two man now. I got the gap already. Okay, ready Danny? Hit, 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 drive it. Good, stop. All right, hold that. Excellent. Okay, pull it out. Oh, sh You know what? Put your axe blade in behind. Okay, you're going to gap again. Here we're using the axe blade to gap further. Push it in more. Right. Okay, get out of here. Nice technique. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna use we're gonna do two man. Another firefighter with me. I got my gap already. I'm going bevel to door. I call for the hits. Hit then. Hit. 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 Drive it. Stop. Tell him to stop. Now I'm gonna go to the door. Okay, door didn't go. Another technique is we could pull back and put the axe head in behind for more leverage. He keeps his head down, hand open. Oh, oh man, push it in. <laughs> Beautiful. Woo! Thank you, this man. Two men, double the jam. Ready? Yep. Hit. 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 Beautiful. Stop. Good. Go to the door. Can go bevel the door now with some more. Okay. Not going. There you go. You're gonna have to drive it off like we're driving the lock off. Ready, Dan? Yeah. Hit. Hit. Looks like one more. Try again. Beautiful. Hold on. Good. Good. Okay, I got a door that swings to the left. It's a wooden jam on the private door. I'm gonna have to spike it. All right, so I gotta swing left handed. All right, here we go. Now I can come down or come in. I'm going to come down. Okay. This time we have a door that swings to the right. So I'm going to have to swing right handed. Plus, after I spike, the edge is going to be up not down as it was on the left hand swinging door, okay? This is why you need two doors. Plus I'm not too good at swinging right handed, so I have to practice more on this side, okay? okay. Door swings to the right. I gotta swing right handed. This time I'm coming in on the door instead of going up on it. All right, now we're going to force the door with angle iron, two men. Hit. Hit. Tell you what, give me a purchase, take the axe blade, put it in there, put you in. Okay, good. I got my purchase now. Good. Hit me in straight to the door, Danny. Hit. Good. Now I'm going to go in towards the jam. Ready? Hit. 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 Okay, now I'm going to steer off the jam. By the jam edge. Go ahead. Hit. 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 Now I'm going to tell him to drive it. Crouch to inside part of the door. Stop. Drive it, Danny. Good. Stop. 
Crouch is at the inside part of the doorstop. Now I'm going to go to the door. Yeah, right. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Nice. Beautiful. Whew. All right, we're gonna show you another technique you can practice on the door. It's when you, you're in such close quarters that you can't hit the back of the tool to drive it in. We're gonna show you what we do when you have squared off, you square off the uh, shoulders, and we're gonna slide hit, all right? So Danny's gonna gap it, and we're gonna go from there. All right. Okay, now he's got the point. Go ahead, Danny. Ready? Yeah. Hit. 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 Hit! Hit! If I'm on the wall now and I can no longer hit because of this wall, I gotta get this fork all the way in. So I'm gonna come up in here and I'm gonna slide hit to that shoulder on the tool. I can even come underneath and hit the bottom shoulder straight on. Boom. Now it pushes to the door. He doesn't get it. Hold. Ready? Hold. I hold with I hold this purchase. Hold. Flip it. Good. Good. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do an outward opening door. Alright? It's gonna be flush. Drop the heavy resistance in. Drop the chalk in, flush it up. Take the halogen, we're gonna drive the halogen into the door stop until we hit the door stop. Ready, Danny? Ready, hit. 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 Okay. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna simulate crushing the door and then I'm gonna angle it so he can shoot me by that door stop, that metal door stop on the inside. Go ahead, Danny, drive it in. Beautiful. Once I'm in behind the door now, I force it out. And if it gives me a hard time, I can't come anymore, I go down. I use opposite the spike, crush it, crush it. Good. You can also use a rabbit tool. 